Look, he failed. Welcome back, iguana hunting friends. The, I'm Jessica with Iguana Solutions and Jermaine is filming for us right now. We're out here getting iguanas again for a church in Broward County. We have permission to be on this property and you don't. So please don't come out to this property if you happen to know where we're at. We have the Concept XR out with us today because it's a little bit stronger gun than the Atomic that we uh, have been using, using regularly. We're also going to be shooting between 18 and 25 grain pellets in this gun today so that we can uh, add a little bit of wop to the pellet that we're sending out to the iguanas. Just a little bit of wop, wop, wop when you hit them. So um, stay tuned. They have monster iguanas here. We're real excited. We're planning on feeding a lot of Trinidadians today. Guys, we have uh, like five, six iguanas at the top of this uh, pine tree. We're gonna go ahead and hit this one and make them come down, I think. There's quite a few up there. Yeah, I don't know which one you're shooting, so. They're all just... together. You could just film the area, right? Like, if you just film like a square right there, you'll be catching all of them. There's one moving his leg right now. Do you see that one specifically? Yeah. That one. These are really good size iguanas. We already got ice so that somebody can eat them. Iguana number one for the day going on up. We'll bust open the ice whenever uh, we get a few more. All right, where, where, where's he at? Towards the middle of the tree, pointing away from us to the left. right in the head. Still sitting there though. Make sure we're not far yet. I don't know what to say, that's the third shot in the head. Here we go. <laughs> if that wasn't a thud, that'd be fun. Let's check out some of the shots we just took. You can see I wasn't missing the head. They're just beasts, man. These are huge iguanas. She took three shots to the head before she came all the way down and let go. One came out her eye. Got you, Iguana. All right, we got yet another Iguana. There's a bright orange boy right here in the sun on the far left of the tree. We're gonna bring him down so somebody can have him for supper. Probably right at 25 yards or so. I think I hit him right around the eye. He's doing the tail wag of surrender, but I think I'm going to hit him one more time in the head just a good measure. These are really big iguanas. Okay guys, it looks like our big orange boy is turned into a big orange dangler. So let's just go ahead and help him down. And I actually see a new iguana right behind him to the right. Oh, probably about 10 feet over to the right. Yeah, 
She made a Christmas ornament out of it. Look at jingle this bill. I'm about to shoot him in the leg now. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. They don't always make them like this. They don't run out of big ones here. This boy is huge. I'm going to have to take a picture with him. Look at this. All right, we just got down this big boy. Look how big he is, y'all. I'm 5'9". The tip of his tail is touching the ground. And he is all the way up to about the top of my head. So he is a big iguana. And look at the shot right there in front of the ear. Probably about 25 yards away up in the tree. Got you, iguana. The Concept XR here is a little bit stronger than the Atomic we've been using lately and is definitely what we need out here. The Atomic's not going to quite cut it with these big boys at such distances. Got number two and three to throw on ice. And our Trinidadian friends will be so happy. Giant iguanas in a single tree saga continues. We can see a big one right here on the left. I think that I can get actually a pretty good shot just like that. Oh, there's two right there. There's there's two right there. Do you right. see they're right next to each other, like a foot apart? Do you see the second one? Yeah, to the right of it? Yes, I'm going to the left. There's a branch under his head. Ooh, take that iguana. That was a dramatic fall. It was. <laughs> so, let me see if I can get eyes on that second one, because I didn't even see that one at first. Look at that. All right, we've got the other boy right here on the right-hand side. We're going to get a shot off on him. I don't know what to say. I must have hit a branch, because it was right on point. And again. That was right in the head. He's got to fall. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Let go on it. We're going to go for back leg. Step. Give him a second. Time's gonna be our biggest ally with this one. Unless you wanna to try to drop around in his rear right leg. Right, let me take a shot at this one over here on the left hand side. See if we can't go ahead and knock that one out. Here we go. He's just a wiggling over there. Look at that. He's got like the shape going on. Well, that wiggle didn't last long. Right. We're over here at the iguana giving tree. And there are more iguanas, of course. Ooh. We're going for the one right there on the right. Oh. Oh. I think an iguana just pooped this, on us. Yes. Oh. Dude, hold up, bro. No. This so guys, we're pretty sure that the small raindrops we just felt were delivered by an iguana. I didn't really get much on me to be able to show anybody, but it's still really gross. So let's get him back. Well, disrespect yourself. Disrespect. No. All right, I think it was that big boy to the far right. You see it? Yeah. There's one to so the far right, two, and then there's, there's the two, second one yes. about four feet to the left. We're going for the one on the right because I think he there's did There's three. I think he there's did There's three clustered together. Well, I, I see this one to the right that his leg's hanging off like he's lounging. Well, I'm looking at... Look, he fell. And got caught in the next tree. Nah. Oh, here he comes. Look. He's trying to come he's down. He's hanging right there. Let's see. Back up there, so I can move it. Okay, 
I'm going to go for the other one that we both agreed we saw about four feet to the left that's facing away from us. Here comes. Got you, Iguana. I wonder if we can catch one when they fall. Kind of a long fall. To so you them. see the five large bodies just underneath is one, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. iguanas. Six, six iguanas six. sitting up there. Okay, but I want to get this guy to the far right. He's a big one. That one. Got you iguana too. This raining iguanas, guys. A giving tree. All right, we're gonna film uh, some of the other iguanas. Jermaine spotted six together now. I'm going for the one that's uh, very visible with a uh, white sky the behind. Most light. Got it. Okay, we're going for the cluster of iguanas. There's specifically two facing the same way. Three, four, four facing the same way. <laughs> four parallel iguanas. Let's go for the one that, um, out of the four, he's the one that's stacked farthest away from us. To the left, to the right? Yeah, he's kind of to the left. Look, you'll see, just film all four. Get a branch the first time. To the guy that's hanging. Got him. So now they're both hanging. We're gonna get the one that's really visible to the right of them. That one's coming down. Oh, really? Look at it shake and dangle. Shake and dangle. The dangler just fell, and we're going to go for the fourth iguana that was up there that we didn't even get a shot on yet. Damn, here he comes. And number four. So let's get those other two to fall. All right, guys, we're gonna pick up these iguanas and get out of here because we've got a child's birthday party to go to. guys are already hit. By the way, that dangler fell just a moment ago over here. So we did get the dangler. There's only one iguana left in the tree that we were trying to get. And we're coming back this afternoon. These are really, really large females. A couple, let's see if these are boys. These are all girls except for him. These are all girls except for that one. Got 
about to eat iguanas. I see iguanas. We got them so quickly, we weren't able to put them all on ice. As you can see, they hold their color real nicely whenever they're on ice. How many did we get? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven iguanas. We've been here a little less than an hour. Concept XR was just what we needed out here. And um, if you look, they're all female. This place gets giant females, only a few males that fight it out each year for the rights. And so we were able to pull a lot of these out of here and we hope to come back this afternoon and get even more. Got you iguanas. where all the spiny tails are and we're looking for green iguanas and spiny tails they have two giant poops out by the pool we're gonna see what we can find out here today spiny tail over there on the tree look at these giant turds he's leaving by the pool He's to the left of the tree or the right? He's in the sun on the right branch. See Cobby. That is a big spiny. Look at the size of the tail. A little bit left. Well, he ain't like that. He's curled up, but we're gonna do one more. Look at the one crossing the street. The one crossing the street. There's our boy flipping. Wow, that is a so big spiny. He said this guy lives in this hole right here in the tree. And he sits on this stump every day and it scares the lady that lives in this apartment. And when they go to the pool, they're afraid of this large iguana because these are known to actually bite people. And he is not one you want to get bit by. Got you iguana. All right, guys, immediately Jermaine has spotted a big orange male here. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get a good shot on him. He has almost his entire body concealed by little branches, but somebody has trimmed this branch, so he's kind of stuck on the end of it. Can we see him from here? Oh yeah, he's right there. So he's through the L of the palm tree. He's on that branch up there. So you can take him from this angle. I'm gonna try to film you from over here. This is the best kind of angle for me to try to see in. Let's see here, he is right through here. Let's see if we can zoom in on him. He blends in really well. He is some kind of sneak. We found a good spot to take a shot at the boy. He has his head barely sticking through some branches. Gonna see if we can get a good shot on him. Well, he's a little over 20 yards. Yes, he is. Here he comes. Right, 
Check out the shot. So he was barely peeking over. We caught him in the eye. Anything else usually just doesn't get you that clean kill. So got you, Iguana, and we're gonna keep on looking. Right here on this in the sun. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Copy. See, we can get him down. Let's, let's do this. Let's see his head. Just uh, did a little, little trimming and pruning, huh? Oh my Both goodness. Of those right in the head. Dangled him. Got, Got him looking like a prune. God. There was a second one though. Hang on, I'm gonna go over there and get it. I don't wanna run out with the gun. We're being watched. Got you, Iguana. Sneaky spiny tail. She's already gotten away from us once. We're gonna try to get a decent shot off on her. She's Probably right at about 20 yards, maybe a little more. Looking into the sun, it's awesome. Oh my god, the sun's killing me. She's moving on. Got her. Freaking got her. Got you, spiny tail. You stinking spiny tail. Got you, spiny tail. She got away from us once before when we were trying to shoot her. They have that barricade right there to show a large hole that she dug. The hole is ridiculous. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to show you the hole she made right now. Hey guys, here's the barricade, and here's the ridiculous hole she makes. I have a feeling that she dug out the hole and then water from this system probably ends up going down the hole, making it worse. But the iguana goes down this hole and it is unreal. It goes on and on. Let me see if I can find a flash. There we go. Look how big this hole is. I mean, a chihuahua could fit in there. And it goes on and on back here because she lives way back there. See? It just keeps going. And there we go. Got you, spiny tail. This is a real small property that we've been at today. We did end up finding some iguanas. We got two greens and two spiny tails. Just wanted to show y'all because you don't always get spiny tails. This is a large female next to a large male. So you can kind of tell some differences between the two. Female spiny tails never have spikes on their back. So it's kind of neat to be able to tell them apart like that. And then of course, this is them next to some green iguanas. And those are the four we got here today. And this large male and this large female are particularly two iguanas that we were told about before we even started the job that they were looking for. And we actually got them today. So, got you iguanas. Mm -hmm.